Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. My name is Emily from Child Communications and today we'll be speaking about how you can use Google Analytics to measure your performance online, whether it be a website or your social media. In particular, this, this segment of the web series will be speaking about how you can use Google Analytics to identify your key performance indicators and just the basic markers of success for how you want to measure uh, your performance online. So there are some businesses out there that have an army of staff working hard every single day to determine that company's return on investment and to see what parts of the business are doing well and which ones are performing poorly. Uh, it can be an extremely costly process to weed out the top performance from the duds and to come up with effective strategies uh, to improve upon operations. Unfortunately, if you're like the 99% of entrepreneurs and small business owners in the world, you're going to find that you probably spend more time building and analyzing your clients' businesses than you do your own. So if I were to share with you one of my favorite business tools, it would probably be Google Analytics. Uh, just for business analysis and planning for myself and for my clients, I find that Google Analytics is the most simple, the most uh, comprehensive, because I can usually get all the information that I want from it within 10 minutes or less. So everyone wants traffic to their site, I mean, which is great. So my question to you now is, how do you measure uh, their interaction with you? Uh, what do you do after you've acquired a visitor? Do they purchase? Do they sign up for a newsletter? Um, how far are they going into your site before they leave? And do you even know why they're leaving? So there's a lot of data to wade through in the form of analytics, setting up goals and analyzing them as step two. Step one is identifying them. So start thinking about your key performance indicators and what defines success for your site. You know, markers of success can be very much industry dependent. A blog ad site, a blog site is going to want ad traffic, comments to their blogs, uh, click throughs, simply because this is how they make money. Whereas a construction building site is going to want to see exactly how many people are downloading their product spec sheets because this is how they make money. Uh, other times you're going to want to address the idea of newsletter signups. Are people actually signing up to get more information from you? Uh, purchases, huge thing for people with e-commerce sites. Uh, we'll delve more into event tracking and goal tracking later on um, in the other web series on Google Analytics that I'll be putting on. So your end goal is to be able to send people or take people to a page that says thank you for your purchase. That is your end goal because that page will only ever show up if they have made a purchase. So some things to think about. As I said before, blog views and comments, they're huge, not just for a blog site, but just for any site that has a blog. I have a blog, my clients have a blog. We always want to be able to measure exactly how much people are interacting with, with them and to see how engaged they are. Contact form submissions, it's always great to be able to collect more data on your, on your potential clientele, especially when someone add, opts in on their own. This is a very powerful thing to have because this email list is something that you can use later on for more online marketing efforts. Direct calls, I mean, I think the goal of any salesperson or entrepreneur is to have people come to you. So if your website is powerful enough and they give you a call directly, this is also a very powerful marker of success. So take this time to think a little bit more on what your key performance indicators are. Later on, we will be speaking more about uh, how you can optimize your site for online and your online presence, but also use Google Analytics uh, to measure your performance online and to delve deeper into what the amazing functions that Google Analytics has. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at emily at childcommunications.ca. Uh, you can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Until next time, thanks so much, guys.